Oh, what in the frosted flakes hell does A1 have on? Oh, Jesus. I just lost my appetite. Oh, God. Nina Parker in a blonde wig. Nina, I like you. I really do. You need to get a better gig. This is this is not for you anymore. It's not. Like, I, I'm rolling my eyes already. I want somebody else. Girl! Why does A1 have red nails on? Red, red. With a little sparkle. And a clear coat seal. Why the hell does Sia have a place on the couch? We didn't give a fuck about Sia. She wasn't even on the show that damn much, child. Y'all already reaching. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold the heck on. Why is Kimberly appearing via satellite from L.A. when it's Love and Hip Hop Hollywood? Aren't y'all all in L.A.? Ooh, honey, this wig. Ooh. I look at this and I just want to say, a horse is a horse, of course, of course. No! I mean, isn't it just gives me a Winnie T. Okay, we have Kylie Kendall. Kendall Kulo or whoever. Uh, why is a is Apple Watts giving us the dance of the seven veils? Yup, she do look like a majorette and a ninja put together. It's, it's very odd. Oh, Jesus. We talking about A1 cheating with, um, some, with Spring Squirrel. And we don't give a shit. Tony the Tiger. Child, he said he ain't cheated after the vow renewal and Lyrica's eyes went crazy. He didn't cheat it. But we don't know what his name is, and we'd really like to. I could see him with that shiny sissy from Black Ink Crew. I could see them bumping uglies, and I do mean uglies. Oh, Lord, I don't know who looked more pregnant, Ray J or Princess. Child, Ray J got them buttons on, and they are ready to bust. What you feeding him, Princess? Okay, we gonna replay the sissy getting slapped. <laughs> But the fact that y'all did a whole ass paternity test last season, child, why are you rehashing it? Mona, I'm asking you. Now, I know you're trying to make Kylie Kendall happen, and I ain't got no hate for the man, but you can't shoehorn people in like this. Like, either give them a full segment and a moment for them to display their talents, but, like... Chopping him in like this, it's really jarring and distracting, and it's just not good. It's really doing... Let me let the siren go by. But it's really doing him a disservice because it's just like this, like, five-second clip, and then we're back to the shit. It's like, no, no, that's that's not working. Oh! Uh -huh. So now we got Sissy Pearl threatening to reveal Lyrica's secrets, and Lyrica's like, Mom, shut up. Mom, shut up. He's trying to keep it cute. I mean, they both give me a homely hopper tea. I still can't believe Lyrica was able to get pregnant in the anus. That's what inspired the song. The, mo the mothers really do need to stay out of this because they ain't doing nothing but making it messier. And it's pretty messy. Coming up. Child, it's the season finale of Cartel Crew. I forgot all about that series. Lyrica, what are you on? Because I'm getting a doll's tea. I love your outfit. You look great. That cleavage is sitting. But what are you on? Because your face, it's a molly mess. Oh, God. Now he is giving us an R. Kelly reenactment. Okay, let the mamas get into it. We got Mama Pam giving us hip, hip. I do agree that the problem is Lyrica G is in their relationship, but Mama Dap, you be messing around in it too. Girl. Lyrica G is so high, she really is giving us a Whoville tea. Cindy Lou Who, meet your grandmama in this Karen Huger wig. God, this is really poorly acted, and this little after show room, mm-mm. Lyrica, you're a laughing stock because your husband's gay. That's why you're a laughing stock. Now, if I had a straight husband, I would be a laughing stock because that's a marriage that ain't gonna work. So all that nothing went on. Nina didn't do shit. Not shit. 
like my seamless delivery driver. I mean, if you go on host, host, like actually keep the conversation going in a direction where we get Resolulu. We didn't get no Resolulu. All we got was a lot of squawking about nothing. Because that marriage, well, it's less than nothing. Oh, Jesus, and here comes Denver the Last Dinosaur sitting with Kylie Kendall. Kylie Kendall, what do you know about marriage and thick and thin? All they've been through is thin. They ain't had no good thick yet. The only thing thick about the marriage is them. Why the fuck did you bring Booby out? He was not a part of the show at all. Oh my God. Don't nobody want to look at his slow ass. The Ray J segment of the show is when you go to the bathroom, pop some popcorn, go through your email, your Twitter, your Instagram. I mean, we don't give a fuck. We done just seen them playing at the marriage again for press and promomo. So we don't give a fuck and we sure don't give a shit about that little dog. Ray J, why would you fake this to stay on the fucking show? Oh, I know they ain't bringing this dog out here. Oh, fast the fuck. Y'all are trifling. Tired through and delay, lay, lay. I've had bowel movements more meaningful than this episode. Child, they ain't even got Apple Watch on the stage, but then again, for what? Kylie Kendall, you really gonna tell Apple Watch you think her music can take off? It's cruel to lie to people. Oh God, now we got Apple Watch and Yo Yo on stage. I wanna fast forward. I don't give a fuck about her. I don't give a fuck about her or her mask. Old Santa Claus ass shit. Fredericks of Hollywood. Ha! <laughs> Nina just cut to, do you feel like you have a drinking problem? Uh, I don't think drinking is the problem. Now, if we want to talk about substance, let's talk about substance. But I don't want to pull a Kim Richards, oh yeah, she's got an alcohol addiction. No, no, she, mm -mm, that, that's a little sniff sniff. Child, somebody said in the chat, she can buy tits and ass but can't take care of her children. I forgot she had children, and I'm sure so is she. They've got to stop cutting to Kylie. They've got to. It's just, it's like all it is is like an amen section. Like, we don't need it. Nina's doing a shitty enough job as it is. Ooh. And once again, a piss yellow wig has found its way into my eye line. Oh, now she remembers she has children and we bring them up. Maybe that's why she had that strip mall surgery, because she was like, look, I'm going to get the kids some toys, but I'm going to get me some tits too. Ha! Oh, now we're talking to Tierra, who was barely on this season. Like, y'all, I, I guess you needed to cut 50 cent her reunion check. Mona did you a solid, but um, clearly you went and got 40 bundles. And put that shit all up in the back of your head. Ooh, Lord. At least your makeup looks nice. You don't look as tired. You don't look as defeated. So I have a little bit of hope for you. Turquoise isn't your color, but I have a little bit of hope for you. I don't know if you have any for yourself, but I got some for you. Ah! Ha! Ah! Oh, God! Oh! This was the most unintentional shade ever. This was the most beautiful, unintentional shade ever. <laughs> and you can see it all over Tierra's face. Ooh, I wish I could play you the clip, but you know they're going to snatch your shit if you try it. Tierra had a wonderful, very I'm aware of my issues testimony about the alcoholism. And then Apple said, right, just order Uber. Now... <laughs> Apple probably didn't remember, but uh, when she first, or no, not first came on the show, but a couple of seasons in, when she was a couple of seasons in on Hollywood, she got into trouble because she got into a fight with the Uber driver and had to go to court, and she was banned from the platform. So yeah, oh, she was like, Arr! she rolled her eyes so hard, I thought she might rip a retina. Oh, poor dear. And I know Apple didn't mean shit by it. It's just like Uber is like taxi now. It's just a word. It's just a word that can be triggering for some. <laughs> she like, now you got to remind me of my other court. <laughs> Little Miami preview. I've missed Miami just because they're new. We need new cast members because... Y'all be trying to milk these old ass storylines after five years, honey. We don't give a fuck. 
Okay, January 6th. So this will, they're going to do the same thing they did last year where it's going to run concurrent with uh, Love and Hip Hop New York. New York starts, oh, they're both going to be on Monday night. See, that's too fucking much. It is. It's like, I like to be in your little love and hip-hop world for an hour, and then I want to go somewhere else. I don't want to, like, go from New York to Miami. Like, I'm not a... I mean, I am a snowbird, but a snowbird, but I'm not a snowbird. And a snowbird is somebody who lives in the city and goes to Florida, so y'all know what that means, because I was just like, ooh, in today's world, you better explain shit. That's what a snowbird is. It's New Yorkers and other tri-state area people who have a second residence in Miami. So that's what it feels like. It's like, oh, we're going from New York to Miami, but it's low-key still the same people. Uh, yeah, just, mm. They could have put that shit on Tuesday night. Don't nothing come on Tuesday. Nothing. But all right. All right. I guess they feel like it does need the New York to be a lead-in, but it's just too much. It's like Married to Medicine and, um, Atlanta on the same night. Like, I prefer to leave Atlanta after an hour. Like, put that shit on Thursday. Oh my God. So now we talk about the B2K bullshit and that little shot that they were able to get <laughs> of J Boog and Lil Fizz, teeny little fizzle pop. Omarin was like, think about using my image and I will own your show. Test me, Mona. Test me. Oh, child. Okay. Now I'm seeing teeny little fizzle pop is pissed from shit that happened way back when. A Tracy Braxton T. Oh, went solo and didn't tell nobody. So, oh, we'll just cut your ass off at the drop of a dime. And you were butt hurt over it, and that's why you got with April. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. But also the fact that Fizz said he asked me to come on because he needed someone to look like he was friends with. Mm -hmm. I, I, could, I could see that being true. I could see that being true where it's like if you constantly cut people off like that, you run out of friends. Why is Jason Lee here? His ass ain't said shit. Oh, Jesus. That means he's going to be talking next episode. <laughs> I should have counted my blessings. Paris, why are you getting involved in this? Because you ain't got no plot line. Okay, I've also noticed they really will fill the audience with the most outrageous looking sissies. It's like they put out a casting. Oh, that's right. It's shot in Atlanta. Ooh, Lord. That's why I don't go. Mm -mm. Girl, I'm going to stay my ass right here in New York. Uh, Zell, you did not need to pump your bloated stomach at, 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 I don't know what that was, but it wasn't a read. It wasn't a read. April, your, um, your knockoff Yves Saint Laurent shoes, well, your counterfeit Yves Saint Laurent shoes are very nice. It's a great counterfeit. Fizz, you are not living your truth. You are living a reality show lie, because you're tired and got your five foot nothing self on marriage boot camp and said, I really didn't want to be in the band. I really wanted to play basketball. Honey, God had already told you no on that one because you're five feet nothing. And you're not even that coordinated on the dance floor. And that's your job. Oh my God, World Hair Pro in the chat said, look at Marquise Houston. He's sitting back thinking, I had all of them. I am dead. And he probably did. Jay Boog said they call him Daddy Boog. Daddy Boog. I would hope by the time you're a father, you know how to clean your nostrils. I wouldn't want no Daddy Boog. Oh, this was a shitty episode. Oh, Lord. Now Monice is shouting about something and already she's talking about cracking sternums and cheekbones. We ain't seen you bust a grape in a minute, and we thought you were about promoting your music. Oh, thank God Monice left. Yeah, right. There's nothing to solve. Leave. You ain't gonna get any Resolulu on the Love and Hip Hop stage. April just said terriblest. It was the most terriblest relationship. It was the most terriblest relationship. Terriblest. Terriblest. So the shit in with April Lowkey confirming that Boog was fucking Omarion's mama. 
Ciao. A sorry reunion for a sorry season. But I'll see you next week for the rest of the shit. Loving hip-hop. Hold on. I gotta edit. I'll be back.